Uh, espresso, please, double. Actually, triple, if that's a, if that's a thing. Do you know, uh, if you're hungover, I'd recommend a sausage butty to go with that. What makes you think I'm hungover? <laughs> I might not have been in this game a long time, but I can tell when my customers are in need of something medicinal. You sit yourself down. I'll bring it over. Hmm. Been knocking back the shard, eh? Bridget Jones style, have you? Actually, it was whiskey. And that's what we sad singletons do, isn't it? Sit round all day in our big pants, in the bottle. Hey, uh, Kane might have given you the Evo, but he's uh, still fighting your corner. What? He's put a rock through the bishop's car window. Must still care about you being replaced in the church, eh? How do you uh, know it was Kane? Oh, Kerry reckons the bishop's got a witness. Uh, excuse me, will you? Dan says Kane's been collared for smashing the bishop's car window. Know anything about that? Babe, you're all right. Get yourself off to school, aren't you? You promised me a hot chocolate after the dentist. Well, on second thoughts, dentist would not approve of all that sugar, would he? So it's not happening. I'll see you later, babe. You said you'd sorted it. Yes, and I did. But couldn't you just say it was some random hooligans that did it? And miss out on the chance of stitching Kane up, like you wanted. And you're welcome, by the way. Baby, you can eat that. I am so hungover, I can't work out what to do. You've gone too far oh, this time. Come on, this is only Revenge 101. It's basic stuff. Not normal, yeah? Uh, put us another coffee in there, our kid. Uh, shouldn't you be getting back to work? Oh, I think the boss man's got more things to worry about than how long I dragged my tea break out for. Oh, all the dodgy stuff that Kane's done, eh? It'd be funny if breaking a car window was the thing that brought him down. <laughs> For the record, I've done nothing wrong. Yeah, of course not. I don't like that one. Just that Kerry reckons the cops have got a witness. And it's their words against Keynes. It's no actual proof. Yeah, someone set me up. They'd be daft enough to do that. Not Harriet. Mm. She wouldn't, would she? Not her style. It is hers, though. Oh, so this is, this is cause, isn't it? Since when did you two start doing little coffee mornings together? Well, excuse me, we've got a lot in common, actually. I'm thinking of setting up an ex-girlfriends club, so I'm showing support to our newest recruit. Since when did you support anyone in your life? Unless there was something in it for you. Like what, exactly? Like getting Keen done for something he didn't do? Mm-hmm. Well, think what you like, you've got no proof. Butter fingers. Hey! Don't worry, charity's paying. Looks like it's my word against yours. Okay, fine. You proved your point. Can't prove anything else, though, can you? Enough, all right, it was me. I smashed the stupid window. Because the bishop gave your job to someone else. I didn't mean to hit his car. I meant to hit Kane's. Harriet, just zip it! No. I want him to know. I was angry and drunk. I gave up everything for you. My career, my reputation, and... You gave me up and just went back to your life as if I never existed. And now you're in a happy little bubble and I can't hurt you, so I wanted to do something to make you see how much you'd hurt me. I'm not sorry I uh, made you feel like that. Charity only got involved because you felt sorry for me. Like everyone else, because I'm a sorry, pathetic mess. Let's just um, forget about it, because the police haven't got any evidence against me, so no harm done. No, I'll sort it. I can't keep covering things up. Maybe I can scrape a bit of self-respect back. 